Hello everyone. Hopefully you're having a good day or night. Seven Deadly Sins finally came out when we were waiting for it for a while. At least me. I don't know about you guys, but I think so. We heard about it a while ago and then we were waiting for it to come out and it never did, but now it finally did. So here it is. Out of, by, by far, out of all these, these monsters are good, but Captain Meliodas is really, really good. He's great. He's a really great monster. He takes the cake. Uh, if you're if you don't care about money and you're trying to get all these monsters, I recommend Meliodas by far. Throw all of them. All of them are just gonna be a waste of money. Besides Meliodas, unless you get them during the free spawn, then that's definitely worth it. And then you got this stuff, all this gear right here, this ultra rare stuff, will increase the amount of prestige you get. And will be the weapons will be changed to physical. Magical healing fatal test bit XX double XL after you're done, and these will be changed to magical reflection when you're done. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, these are all right, monsters. These are okay, right here. Guilt Thunder and Elaine. And then between Meliodas and Ban. They're all DPS. They're pretty good. Diane and Ban take the cake out of this. Not Meliodas this time. Meliodas is pretty good still though. All these two, all these, th these three monsters are pretty good. Also Sloth. Sloth is pretty good too. And then Merlin is used to get remove the bad stuff. Galther is used to apply negative effects to your enemies. And I'm not really worried about these two. I'm not going to say besides unless you want them. Arthur's alright. He's okay. And then you got their weapons. That will be changed to physical testament or fatal magical healing testament XL after you're done. Increased damage done during the event and reduce physical and magical damage during the event too like in the event not like during the event but inside the event this all happens change to physical damage down cost 30 the other stuff was cost 34 this stuff right here I didn't get to cover that cost 33 cost 34 so it gives really good stats and now <clears throat> what I recommend doing is some of the stuff might look worth it but overall they did this for the fairy tale clap i think they did this for sword orita i'm not sure wait until later on because they're gonna come out with more collab spawns for seven deadly sins even though i think more than half of you know this watching this if you don't then I guess that's why you're watching this video, but wait until they come out with more because they're going to come out with more at a very likely chance. Um, if you want something from here, this one specifically, wait until like the last day so that way if they come out with more spawns, you could see what you want and you could choose and pick between them because actually most likely they're going to come out with better spawns than this. This is just to start off. This is just to get you hyped. Saying, oh yeah, Seven Deadly Sins is here. I want to buy some of this stuff. And then later they come out with the better spawns that people can't resist. Because it's not just collab armor of your favorite anime. <laughs> it's good stuff too. <laughs> it's really good stuff. So, they're probably going to do that for money. I see that as a good way to earn money in this game. So... Be aware of later spawns that are a lot better than these. Later collab spots that are a lot better than these. And yeah, that's it for this video. I try to make this as short as possible. So that way you understand if the, oh yeah, is it worth it in general for those who are wondering that still want to do this? Well, um, I'd say the armor's worth it. It's cost 34. There's only two sets of ultra rare armor you can get. It's one of those two. It's worth it for the ultra rare. Or guaranteed collab. SSS armor. 
Um, yeah, that's what it pretty much is. It's one of those two regardless at the SSR they're at. Weapons, it's a bit iffy. If you're only looking for one weapon of your class, don't do it. If you're looking for multiple weapons, different. if you're looking for at least two to three different weapons from here, go ahead. It's a good deal. And they count no rates up. I was expecting them to have rates up. Well, I was like, yes, the free spawn, they have rates up. Now I can force um, the game to, I could push the game to give them the uh, SSR that is collab. But they ain't got no rates up if this ever loads. If it ever loads. Whoa. I think when they were doing maintenance, they did something with the server. I am not sure. My point, Pervin, they don't have rates up on this stuff, so I would wait on it. You can see for yourself. The game wants to bug out. I have no clue why. And for the second one, if you only want one monster, do this bottom one. They're all cost 29. I don't think they go higher. They cost 29. No, they don't. And the reason I say don't do the one with two unlock potential, like, bro, you could have two unlock potential, though. Well, you don't even have to be feature gear, and they have at least cost 32 monsters with potential awakening that you can get from video point spawns, rare spawns, free spawns, and almost any spawn except, for, like, friend point spawns. You get from ruby spawns, too. They got Suki you. Suki you. You, uh... Before draw the way, she's cost 30 and she has four potential count. She's an ultra rare, so you could use that as awakening material inside this monster and these monsters. And I lost connection, so that's not worth it for that. And the rest is cost 30. I'm just gonna say screw it. The rest is cost 30 weapons and armor. I wouldn't really worry about those. The first spawn that has upper rates on the prestige like they 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 increase the percentage that could be a well worth a shot but other than that i wouldn't really worried about it armor guarantee because you can't lose with armor weapons are a bit iffy and yeah that's it for this video uh since connections losing constantly i guess no more waving i'll see you next time it's the azeroth i'm out peace